Lindsay. Aren't those oh, cool? What a what greeting. Cool. Thank you. I didn't expect if you were coming out of Queen Mary's right now. <laughs> I've been doing this since 1988. So this is my life. This is what I've done. What makes your tea so special? Each tea has their own little story behind it. I have a culinary arts background and I love tea. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life. There's about a hundred different ones and we've even come up with new ones. Red bush teas that are totally caffeine free, which really helps with anxiety. So I've been drinking those a lot. <laughs> it's been really hard. It's um, been beyond hard. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. You uh. already got me. <laughs> Everybody has so many memories. From Jeannie. Yeah. You guys are the yeah. best. Look at Happy that. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank, Thank goodness for the customers that we do have that come in and are so incredibly loyal. For me now, it's really difficult to go into the restaurant because I just want to break down in tears. We've done so many upgrades. We've cleaned everything. Normally this is such a cozy little spot with all these tables. It's tight in here, but it that's what makes it so much fun. We have to really be at almost 100% before we can reopen. When we're ready to open, it's going to be gorgeous, but when will that be? How long has have these shelves been bare? And our last day was March 15th and then we just started taking everything down. Every day, you have rent to pay. Your health permit, that's hundreds of dollars. It changes every day, it seems, when you watch the news, it's something different. It's just a waiting game now. And it's like, hopefully, we can wait it out. So she's hanging on by a thread, yeah. but a few regular customers did start a GoFundMe to help her meet her bottom line for now. So the restaurant has been closed. The Emporium shop is open though, so you can go there and buy tea if you're in the Seattle area. <laughs> yeah, she actually makes all of her own tea. She's able to ship tea as well to customers uh, either across the state or across the country. But of course, she's worrying about how long she could continue right. to operate with just the Tea Emporium open and not be able to open the restaurant. And we've seen so many businesses close and even with the financial assistance that Mary is just one example of one business that is taking all the help she's able to get. She's shut mm -hmm. off the internet, the phone, she's doing what she can, but the crush of it all just is just too much for some businesses. You're worried how many are going to survive. Yeah, and this place is such a unique little mm -hmm. place. There's nothing like it in Seattle, right, a place where years. you can get a traditional like British tea experience, but right now yeah. people can't do it and I hope that she can hang on long enough to, to survive on the Me other too. side. Me too.